everyone, welcome back, and let's. To, and now we're gonna go continue on with, I believe the title of it is A Moment of Peace. <laughs> I don't want to die! in the storage zone, and the gift I prepared for Master Capote is still in the analysis room of the Department of Implement Arts. You know, there's loads of monsters attacking the space station this time, and some of them aren't even on the station's records. You're so annoying. Stop saying that. <laughs> hey, how old are you? Don't be a baby. Please stop crying. How about I pretend to be a monster for you, huh? <laughs> Projectile radar tracking normal. Telemetry signal frequency unusually high. Maintain at normal levels. Our measurements predict that the Legion is about to unleash over 10 waves of continuous attacks. Everyone, brace yourselves. Asta, we're back. Oh, I'm glad you're all back safe. Arlen just told me about the situation at the storage zone and about his injury. Thank you for all your help. In times of disaster, I realize more and more that the space station's researchers are its most valuable assets. Alas, we were ill-prepared for such emergencies. We should have built up our security and combat departments. But on the other hand, the entire crew of the Astral Express seems to be extraordinarily skilled. What is the current situation on the space station? The situation is under control for now. The damage to our security system was minor. The intruder only managed to alter a small amount of data, so it was easy to fix. The real problem lies with the researchers. They trust Madame Herta wholeheartedly and never thought that the space station would be breached by the Legion. Hmm. A broken spirit is far worse than a broken body. Let's go speak with the researchers. Right now, the space station can't afford any more unexpected turns, especially from within. Have you tried contacting Herda? I sent multiple letters, all met with silence. You know her, Himiko? The space station is but a mere warehouse for followers and rare items. She doesn't really care about it. I knew it. No matter. I'll also send a letter to Herda and tell her that we've brought the rare item she seeks. At least that might get her attention. Oh, that would be of great help. Nice. 
nice. So these are the five stars. Not bad. Okay, so these are like core light cores. Um, this is the current event. And this is the beginner one. I'll be damned. They all look Yaching. I want you to <laughs> But I'll hold up on that. Let's see. I got a new character. It's Austin. See, she is harmony, buffs to allies, and is a fire. Nice. Let's level her up. Let's see, do I have? I, I do not. So that sucks. Can I at least open a trace? I can't. Darn it. Oh well. All right. Oh, hog. I can get my mail now. Yo! I got a free character! I was not expecting that. Jeez! Serval. Huh. So they are an addition. And they are lightning. I'll leave the reassurance of the researchers in your hands. If you have any other questions, you're welcome to come to Himiko and me. What's the matter? You seem to have something on your mind. Basically speaking, it's a train that travels through space. But more specifically, the Astral Express was a creation of the Eon, Akavili the Trailblazer. As for what the Trailblaze, the Eons, and Akavili are all about, let's talk about it when things have calmed down a little. I don't want to overwhelm you now, do I? Light cones were created by the Garden of Recollection. These followers of the Eon of Remembrance refined memory fragments to create light cones, which preserve memories. But. You've already realized it, haven't you? Since light cones can preserve memories, they can also preserve experiences and abilities. That's why light cones are extremely precious rare items under level two restriction by the Interastral Peace Corporation. As far as I know, only the IPC possesses light cone technology authorized by the Garden of Recollection. I couldn't say what deal Herta made with the Garden, but knowing her, it was likely off the books. You should cherish every light cone. They are all precious memories of their original owners. Who exactly you are escapes me, but you seem familiar to me. I have a couple of hunches, but I can't prove any at this point. So they'll be my little secrets for now. Are you concerned about your past? You seem like someone who prefers to look forward rather than back. Or maybe I'm just describing myself. Come find me anytime if you have more questions. What's the matter? You seem... Come find me anytime if you have... Hello. How can I help you? This is Herta Space Station. As you might tell from its name, it belongs to the distinguished Madame Herta herself. Herta Space Station was originally built as a warehouse for rare items and relics, but Madame Herta also allowed her followers to oversee tasks and conduct research, then gradually turned into a scientific research base. The storage zone you pass through contains all our inventory and is the main research center. The master control zone where we are now is the control center of the whole space station. It is said that the space station also contains Madame Herta's private chamber, where her most precious, rare, and dangerous collections are sealed. 
and for someone like her, it's not out of the realm of possibility. Even for me, the lead researcher, there are many things she keeps secret. I'm lead researcher of Herta Space Station. But honestly, I'm more like Madame Herta's housekeeper of this place. Madame Herta is a genius, but managing disparate staff, tactfully representing the space station before the Intelligentsia Guild, these are all things beyond her abilities. But as it turns out, they are my forte. <laughs> Scholars are a lot easier to deal with than those vociferous old geezers back home. No matter how much they drone on about astronomy is just about looking at things that doesn't bring any real value, they all fall silent in front of Madame Herta. No matter the problem, you just needed to say that it was Madame Herta's wishes and all would be fine. After all, Herta herself is a symbol of wisdom. And thanks to her, I can count the stars to sleep. Otherwise, I would have had to inherit the family fortune and ugh. Just thinking about it terrifies me. Arlen went to dress his wounds at the rest area. He knows himself well, but if he insists on pushing his limits, I'll give him a good earful. I'm very upset he didn't obey my orders and insisted on searching the storage zone even though everyone had already evacuated. I know he didn't want to leave any researchers behind. The security department is more than just a job to him. But Arlen doesn't care about getting hurt. He only cares about protecting others. It's the only way he feels fulfilled. And it's not that I don't understand where he's coming from. I just want him to look out for himself, too. Herta. She's a member of the Genius Society. One of the proud favorites of the Eon of Erudition. Ever since the birth of Noose, there have only been 84 people admitted into the Genius Society. That is why Madame Herta is extremely... headstrong. She only pursues what interests her, and as soon as that interest is lost, she abandons it and moves on. The space station was one such abandoned interest. Anyway, I lent out one of her manuscripts as a resource reference not long ago. It should still be in the Master Control Zone. You can take a look if you wish. Huh. Chatting with you seems to have lightened my mood. Seems like talking can really raise one's spirits. I caught the Antimatter Legion sooner. Oh, I'm fine. This pain is nothing, really. I'm used to it. In fact, I should be proud of it. It's a reminder of being able to protect everyone. <clears throat> but, uh, don't tell lead researcher Asta what I just said. Whew. There were a few researchers who didn't make it. The rest are fine. Mostly minor injuries. But I'm worried about their mental states. Most of them came to the space station because they admired Madame Herta. But now they can't reach her or even their own families. I just hope they can all survive this crisis. My first impression was that she was the daughter of a rich family. Owners of a big company. She was kind to me, though. When she went to the space station, I followed her. I don't know much about science, but I'm glad to be able to protect people in pursuit of their research. I hope all this chaos will end soon. That's right! That's right! The resentful spirit's senseless obsession turns into a, a tangible hand, and the shadow of the old disaster will conceal the heavens. 
That's exactly what was written on the Mystic Scroll of Eons. It refers to the followers of Nanook, the destruction, using antimatter to create a galactic weapon of war. I didn't think I'd be fortunate enough to witness... <laughs> oh! Have you also come to witness the power and miracle of the Eons? Then go over there. There's a good spot right there. Beware of any interferences from your mortal body when observing. You must seize every detail. When an Eon appears, even the tiniest trace must not be missed. <laughs> You see that, Sheila? History always repeats itself. History? Gun, this is the first time I have witnessed the space station in such disarray. Oh, Sheila. When we face another dire crisis like this, if you're able to rescue your home planet, will you come back and save us? Home planet? My home planet? I do not understand what you are saying. Never mind. If Sheila could hear this, she'd understand. Push the stick down, Alfred. Oh, sorry, sorry, I got the wrong person. Thanks, kid. We're doing some pre-checks for the satellite remote sensing. I'll hold down the button to monitor the signal, and you push the control stick according to my instructions. But first, let's talk about the controls. Up is the spectrometer, down is the filter, left is the reference level, and right is the attenuator. Our pre-checks have three steps. Turning on the spectrometer, then the attenuator, and finally outputting the signal to the filter. It's quite a bit to remember. You got everything? Don't worry, I'll go over it again. The controls are up for the spectrometer, down for the filter, left for the reference level, and right for the attenuator. The pre-checks have three steps, turning on the spectrometer, then the attenuator, and finally outputting the signal to the filter. Are you ready? Three, two. Wonderful, thank you. <laughs> that was very helpful of you, kid. Alfred was the researcher in charge of this. He was in the storage zone earlier. He didn't make it back. Abraham was close to him. <sighs> I don't know how to tell him about it. The top priority is to preserve the space station and concentrate on the work at hand. We researchers have all taken refuge here. But has anyone given any thought to the non-human life on this space station? They may be part of the rare item collection, but are they not also living things? Don't their rights deserve to be protected? Exactly. And I, Lukash, outstanding researcher of the Herta Department of Galactic Geopolitics, shall continue fighting and speaking up for the rights of all non-human life in these terrible times. If you are interested in joining the cause, please stand by my side and repeat after me. Protect rare item rights. Save non-human life! All together, protect rare item rights! <laughs> Open your benighted eyes and look at the delicate life for protect rare item rights!
I need to leave. I need to run from this forsaken... No, it's impossible. I can run from yesterday. I can run from today, but tomorrow will always be one step ahead of me. Look! The obstacle detection terminal has recorded 142,856 attacks. The next count will be 142,857. I know in my heart that when I see that hopelessly beautiful cyclic number, it will mean the poetic end of my life cycle. Insightful. Yes, of course. The closer you approach death, the more you appreciate life. I will pull myself together. Thank you. That was kind of you. Leslie! Sir, I need to go. I need to go find Leslie. Stupid boy, is your head not screwed on right? Leaving over my dead body. I'll knock some sense into you yet, but hey, where do you think you're go- oh. in such a disaster. Ten cups of coffee, a pill, or maybe hide in a room full of mystic scrolls of eons. Oh, that's bitter coffee. <coughs> so bitter. Too dang bitter. Oh, sis, where are you? I'm so scared. and leave. I'll stay. But... Let's go. <laughs> Remind you, that's the Doomsday Beast, the Legion's planet destroyer. The space station is Herda's creation. As long as the Lord Ravager doesn't intervene, there should be no problems. <laughs> but we can't just run away like this, right? <sighs> the Doomsday Beast can rip off the defense shield like tearing paper. And Herta's not here. The station's defenses are too weak to stand against the Antimatter Legion. Either way, the Legion has the blessing of the Eon, Nanook. They came prepared, and everyone here is not. That's why we have to leave and take her with us. Hmm? She's 
that important? She's the one who can help us turn the tides. Of course I may be wrong. Hmm. As you say so. All right. What should we do next? This is the supply zone where the maintenance crew works. There's a path here that leads to the railway platform. Let's head over there and meet up with Welt. Mr. Yang? Mr. Yang's here too? Didn't he stay on the express? The Astral Express tracks our coordinates in real time. And with such a huge change in the space station's movements, there's no way Mr. Yang wouldn't have noticed. Mm-hmm. I can almost guarantee that your Mr. Yang is already on his way. Right now, we might be able to handle things if it's just the Doomsday Beast, but if the Destruction's Emanator were to appear... Let's hurry up and get out of here. I'll explain later. Clemency? Never heard of it. You have the worst luck running into me! With me out here, how can we lose? Something for you. One at a time. Ooh, try that again. Ooh. You can't run. Barely felt it. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. The time for now. Watch this! Combat is a series of precise machinations. Come one, come all. still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Clemency? Never heard of it. My turn! 
The truth of life and death, revealed in an in this sanctuary, is but a vision! Reach the end of the story in your own way. You won't get away! It's too late to repent. Stop. Let's go. Batter up! You're annoying! Step aside. <laughs> have done it without me. That enemy certainly isn't friendly. are made to be broken. It's too late to repent. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant, this sanctuary is but a vision! You won't get away! I have something for you. The time is now. I told you I could fight. Past victories don't guarantee future ones.
Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's make it quick. You won't get away! I have something for you. Clemency? What's this? Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. This sanctuary is but a vision! Luck running into me. Stay right there while I give you a present. You can't run. Let's go. Take this. Time for a detailed overhaul. You won't get away! My turn! <sighs> Gotta try hard sometimes! Check out this awesome move! Reach the end of the story in your own way. Express isn't here. It has to be nearby. Let me go take a peek with my sharp eyes. Doomsday Beast. It's really here. Get down here! Uh, careful, everyone! Watch my time.
are made to be broken. Move carefully. Watch this! Let's make it quick. don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Holy shit, Himeko is like, Jesus Christ, OP! Step aside. I have no interest in stoking- Stop! Give you a present! The truth of life and death, revealed in an in this sanctuary, is but a vision! Take this! Time for a detailed overhaul. One at a time! The time is now. <laughs> Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> Combat is a series of precise machinations. Someone, come on. are made to be broken. Combat is a series of precise machinations. don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Literally sip tea while this thing happens. The truth of life happens. and death, revealed in an instant, this sanctuary, is but a vision! 
Run! You have the worst luck running into me. Stay oh, right God, here yeah. while I give you a present. Let's go. Take this! Make it quick. You won't get away. Rules are made to be broken. See? Never heard of it. Scared, man. Truth of life and death revealed in and in this sanctuary is but a vision. Ch Run! Ooh, ooh, ooh. One man, one man. One at a time. Talk somewhere else. Man, this literally took us down with a cane. <sighs> Is this the space station? <gasps> Actual dialogue. Hi. It's good that you've made it through in one piece. You can rest easy now that the threat from the Legion has been neutralized. Well, this invasion seems to be nothing more than a random provocation. As soon as the Doomsday Beast fell, the Legion retreated. I guess I'll leave you to rest up a bit for the time being. By the way, um, what's your beacon address? 
That way, if anything happens, I can contact you. Go see Himiko when you have the time. She said she had something to discuss with you. We're gonna get constellations, you know, besides warping. I don't even know half of the ones I have. I don't know. I know Asta because I met her recently, but I don't know who this person is. I like Marge and uh, and John Hung, and I also like Himiko. Oh my god, I wish I could get her. Let's see. Tutorial. Messages. Nice. And what's this? Ooh. Ooh. Not bad. I'm getting some. I'm getting some stuff done. So where do I view the messages? Travel logs? Oh, wait, there's the store. War characters. Let's see the store. Oh, so this is the Walking Moon. Starlight Exchange. Ooh! Oh, Arlen! And I think these are the... Um... Limited ones? Oh no, these are the bot ones. I think. I'm not sure. Yeesh. Gotta say, I'm loving this so far. But anyway guys, I'm gonna go take a break. I need to take a break, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye <laughs> now!